Okay, so today we're going to troubleshoot the Glowplex in this three-cylinder diesel engine on this little tractor here. As you know, without functioning glow plugs, the chances of getting this guy to start in cold weather are probably uh, slim to none. Not to mention the extra wear and tear you're going to put on your starter as you crank this thing over unnecessarily. All right, let's get rolling. All right, let's test these babies for impedance. Got a set on ohm, the lowest setting. Zero to 200. Supposedly, there shouldn't be more than one ohm of resistance. About 1.4. About 1.3. Hmm. Let's see if we get a better reading here. About 1.3, so they're all about the same. So I don't know. I find it hard to believe they're not working at all. I guess we'll have to try the battery test here and see what it looks like. Alrighty. Here's a little 12 volt battery out of a UPS. Here's the glow plug. I got the uh, negative attached to the uh, part that screws into the engine block. And we attach the positive down here. And if this thing is working, it should start smoking and are glowing red here not too much time hmm. there you can see that sucker that sucker's glowing red hot right now you see it smoking now the key is not to burn yourself or set anything on fire <laughs> Alrighty, here's number two. Give this puppy a whirl. Yep, the tip's glowing red hot. So, these are at least functioning. At least functioning minimally, anyway. Okay, here's number three. Light this baby up. And I can see it's smoking getting red hot so I don't know these all seem to be working okay so I bought a brand new glow plug off of Amazon for the uh, tractor just to have a spare on hand less than 13 about $13 and 50 cents delivered to the house the dealer price on this was $70 that's right seven zero about five times the price kind of makes you wonder what they're thinking anyway I just want to compare this one with the old ones that have been there for 12 years and 517 hours and see if there's a big difference so we'll check the uh, resistance on this and then let her heat up with a battery just to see if, how much of the element gets hot. Okay, so we're getting about 1.1 ohms. I think on the old ones we're getting about 1.3, so not a whole heck of a lot of difference there. Okay, my other battery's dead, that little small UPS battery, so I'm going to have to use this big uh, car battery. Here we can see it's starting to glow red on the end. That's about how much it glowed on the other ones. You can see more of this is getting red. Most of it's getting red there. It could just be because I'm using a bigger battery too with more uh, more juice in it. So it's not really a fair comparison, but... There you have it. Maybe worth uh, changing your gold plugs out. Fourteen dollars a piece times three, probably not a bad uh, price for some preventative maintenance. Well, I think I found out why my uh, glow plugs aren't working. And this thing, you can turn the key to counterclockwise, and it'll light the glow plugs up and warm the engine up so it'll start when it's cold. And I saw the corrosion under here, and I was getting ready to clean it. Took the battery out, and this just came popping off. Anyway, I was hoping this might have been the cause of the thing not starting, not getting enough voltage to the glow plugs because it didn't have a solid connection here. This peg 30 is the main hot coming in. The accessory 17, that's when you turn the switch counterclockwise and it feeds the glow plugs to pre-warm it. 19 feeds the glow plugs when the engine's running, and 50 goes to the starter. 
in any case, 75 bucks later and a new uh, switch. So we'll see if this fixes it. If not, I'm not sure where we're going to look from there. Those glow plugs seem to be okay. Alrighty. Let's see if we get some uh, voltage applied to that glow plug when I turn the preheater on this puppy. Too bad I didn't try this with the old switch installed. There you have it, 11 volts. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Okay, fuel pump's running. Oh my god. A bad switch, man. That's all it was. That thing fired right up. 